I think it's fair to say that the Wilson DynaPower driver is the most talked about, the most anticipated, and fair to say the people's driver of 2023, which is quite crazy to think when we have the TaylorMade Stealth 2, the Ping G430, and of course, the Callaway Paradigm. So the big story here is there are two drivers in this Wilson DynaPower range, and I've been so excited to get my hands on it. Guys, today we're gonna to test it out here on the golf course and here in the Golf Sun Simulator, see just how it performs for numbers. I think this could be low key quite good. There are two drivers in this family. There's the titanium version and the carbon version. The carbon version, which we have here, is slightly more expensive, but does boast more workability and potentially more ball speed. I'm gonna stop beating around the bush here. I want to have a go with it. It sits absolutely wonderfully. It sits really, really nicely. Guys, if you wanna try one of these for yourself, then make sure you give Richard at Wortley Golf Club a ring. It is in the description below. There's a club fitting day. I'll put it on screen now. Rob's gonna do you the deal of a century as well. Oh, you know what could do, really? What deal can you do them, Rob, on one of these? How was your lunch, by the way? Mint, but there's a fitting day on the 15th. Is there, 15? So you can sign up, yeah. Okay, sign up. Coop, is this, will you do them a deal, Rob, or? Absolutely. Yeah, perfect on one of these DynaPower drivers. And I think just the pricing of this probably puts it amongst the driver of the people. It's a little bit cheaper than all the brands I mentioned earlier. And first impressions, I did not expect that to come out that hot, to come out that low, or to feel that good. Driver feel is a big thing for me. I like a driver to sound a little bit umphy, but I also want it to have a little bit of forgiveness. That wasn't actually the best strike. It's down the left-hand side of the fairway. Let's hit a couple more. And just look at this driver, you'll see it's got a lovely carbon top. It's actually separated from the front a little bit. Very kind of tailor-made M2-esque, very paradigm-esque, but it looks really, really nice on top. And then we have the carbon sole as well. So it's designed to help Wilson proportion weight exactly where they want it, help you get not only the ultimate forgiveness, but also a low CG pretty much the most forgiving, most powerful driver they've ever made. When I think Wilson, I think of uh, Wilson Castaway with the volleyball. I don't think the best driver of 2023, but I suppose some people do. And that's another one straight down the left hand side of this fairway. Straight away here, I can tell I'm favoring the left side a little bit. I don't mind that too much. It looks like it sits a touch upright to me. So if you do struggle with hitting the ball to the right hand side of the fairway, this could be a really good driver for you to try. We also have a six way optimizational sleeve here. You don't get that in other budget drivers. I know I shouldn't call this a budget driver, but for the amount of technology you do get in this club, to get this at sub 400 pounds right now, is a little bit of a steal. I think other brands certainly do charge a little bit more based on their name, but the fact that you do have a carbon crown, the fact you do have a carbon sole plate, and the fact that weight is strategically designed to help you get not only the ultimate forgiveness, but also a low CG, pretty much puts this driver right up there with some of its bigger name competitors. And when I say bigger name competitors, I'm probably doing Wilson at a little bit of a disservice because Wilson Sporting Goods is one of the biggest names in sport, be it tennis, be it baseball, be it basketball, be it volleyball, and also now be it golf. Let's jump back out on the golf course and see just how good. Oh, look at that. That's the pick of the bunch that is up there. Guys, get in the comments below, would you like to see me compare this against the Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond, against the TaylorMade Stealth 2, against the Ping G430? And what would you do with the extra £100 you save when you realise this is probably just as good? So the big thing that I'm really, really pleased with here is that consistency of distance. So the DynaPower does feature DynaPower AI technology, so that's very similar to the AI face that you get in the Callaway. Basically, different thicknesses throughout the face to help you get the most forgiving driver face possible. And you can see here we have one bang smack in the middle of the fairway, and another two which were ever so slightly left, but the same distance. That is the big thing that I want from this club. I want distance, I want forgiveness. Guys, let's jump in the studio, let's see how this driver does perform. And then let's find a little bit of a tighter hole and see just how we get on. So I actually had a load of fun testing the new Wilson DynaPower carbon driver in the Golf Sun Simulator. So much so, to be honest, I just kept hitting ball after ball after ball. Sometimes when testing golf clubs, it can get a little bit monotonous and a little bit boring, 
but certainly that wasn't the case with the Wilson. That's one of the biggest things I can say for it. If golf is your hobby, you need to like the look of the driver, like the feel of the driver, and obviously like the sound of the driver out on the golf course or inside if you play indoor golf on a golf zone. The numbers were actually very, very good for me. 157 ball speed, that's pretty much up there with any other drivers that you will see this year. 2004 spin, that was a touch high. I'd prefer to see that lower towards 2000. 273.8 carry, so around 275, which is what I do expect to see in the day and age. But guys, wait till you see what happens when we test this against the Paradigm on the final hole in this video. It is an epic comparison. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see a full comparison video. So very interesting initial shots there. The one thing that has kind of shocked me a little bit is that sound and feel. But then when you have the amount of carbon on this club that there is, it's always going to have that quite specific sound and feel, isn't it? It's always gonna feel quite premium. It's always gonna sound quite nice. And a huge element that I like is you don't get any glare off that top either. There's no kind of shiny carbon. And I quite like the little red Dynapower tag on there as well. Just makes me feel like there's a little bit more surface area, a very clever thing that Wilson have done there. And even when it comes to the shelf appeal on the bottom, nice black and red colorways, really, really like that. We also have a little bit of a 12 gram weight at the back there. So although you get that low spin, you still get an element of forgiveness because CG is pushed so far back in that carbon head. Right, we were able to open up the shoulders on that first hole, it was a par five. This one's a par four, it's a little bit tighter. It's time to really see why this is the most talked about driver of the year. Straight away, that's the perfect line. Perfect line just down the left hand side of the fairway that opens up the hole really, really nicely. For me, even though it has all those carbon elements, it doesn't sound the same as a stealth, it doesn't quite sound the same as a paradigm. It has its own feel and own sound. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm going to hit a couple on the next hole with the paradigm as well to compare this feel and sound and see just which driver I would potentially be using. That's the tiger line. If that's got the length, that is frighteningly good. In fact, if that's around the corner, I might well ring Richard up myself and book on to the Wilson fitting day at Workley Golf Club and see if I can get one of these in my bag. Right, one more. We're gonna go for that same tiger line. See how much speed we can get out of this. Right, that might be leaking a touch right, but I've tried to hit that so hard. I think I've heard it clip something. Let's go down there, let's see where these are. Then on the next hole, I'm gonna hit one with this, one with a paradigm and see just what the differences are in feel, sound, and of course, performance. Look how far that is down there. That is frightening, isn't it? It's a long way down. That is absolutely massive. I can't see the other two. Oh, there's one, there's one there on the fairway. Just, is it, on the rough? Just where is it? Standing. There, that was a leaf I had earlier. I could, that's, I think that could be the longest drive I've ever hit. It must have been a sprinkler head. I really don't think it has. Cracking drive. Are we downwind? Slightly. Could have just said no. No, no, it's not downwind. <laughs> Guys, that, so this hole measures, well, a long way. And you can see there we've got a flick into the green. Remarkable. I honestly think I might have to get booked in for a fitting with this, that was massive, weren't it? You're, you're walking away, you're that upset. So I think it's fair to say here, we have the people's champ, the most talked about driver of 2023 against, let's just face it, the best driver of 2023. I'll go paradigm first here because I'm just gonna try and set the stall out. I want to hit the fairway with both these shots, but I also want to just get as much distance out there as possible. Can I go yet, Chris, with that buggy? No. Not after what we've just seen. <laughs> so looking down at these two drivers, two quite similar, but also quite different looking drivers. You can see there's a little bit of glare on the Paradigm Triple Diamond. I do quite like the kind of matte version of the carbon on top, but also two very similar top lines where it's just that kind of black paint on them. Right, now that guy's gone, I'll go Paradigm first. We're gonna just try and keep this in the fairway, but step on them just a touch. That's a lovely knuckleball flight straight over that bunker. That'll be left side of the fairway once again there. This Dynapower has a lot to live up to. Let's see if that Dynapower AI face can come in handy. Also, this is Rich's demo driver, so someone has, uh, yeah, someone's left him a present on there, unfortunately. It wasn't me, Rich. I know you've probably seen it before you lent it me. 
guys, give him a ring because he's got a lot of stocking at the moment when it comes to Wilson. Not many people do stock Wilson. Come on. Oh, Chris, this is going to be such an interesting test because they're exactly the same. Two absolute knuckleballs down the left-hand side of this fairway. What a great place to leave this video. Let's go and check where they are, guys. We have the Paradigm in the middle of the fairway there and the Wilson bang up with it on the left-hand side of the fairway. They were two very similar strikes and we have two very similar outcomes. Guys, thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Is the Wilson Dyna Power Driver the best driver of 2023? And see you all same time tomorrow. Good boy.